So all I did was turn the chair around. Okay, the angle the main cable makes here is different than this angle. Ideally, they should be the same. When you have a line coming in at an angle, and there's a tension in here, some of it is horizontal, some of it is vertical. In this one, most of the pull is down, vertical. In this one, most of the pull is horizontal. That's why it tended to tip the whole t uh, chair over. When I turned it around, the pivot point is changed. It's much sturdier. So when you have a, if you're building this at home and you've got your two chairs, turn the chair around like this, or if it was the way the chair was originally, you'll have to put a lot of weight on the seat of the chair to keep it from tipping over. Okay, now how do you make the, uh, the rest of the bridge? Okay, so this is a one by six, about three feet long. Anything you've got will work. As long as, and then the cross beams are a little wider than the, than the deck. Drill a couple holes in the cross beams. As long as those holes, yeah, come over here, George. As long as those holes are on the outside of the deck, you're okay. J bolts cost about a buck in the hardware store. J bolt goes through the hole. A washer and a nut. And you're all set. The cross beams go underneath the deck and I attach them with just a couple of screws. The next step, so these J bolts are about a buck a piece, then you need a cable clamp. That's how you attach the suspenders to the main cable. Get one of these four-in-one screwdrivers. They call it that because you got four different uh, attachments you can put in it. I use it because the, the size of that is perfect to tighten the nuts. So now when you get these cable clamps, it's called a, a one-eighth cable clamp because it's designed for one-eighth uh, rope. So here's the main cable. The suspender is this part. Put that going through the, the U-bolt. Show you what the U-bolt is. So here's the cable clamp. Can you see that, George, over here? That's the U-bolt, that's the saddle, and you got the two nuts. Make sure that the, the uh, suspender line goes over the U-bolt, the because it'll have less friction. If it went over the saddle, too much friction. You'll see what I mean in a minute. So the white line, which is going to be the suspender, goes over the U-bolt. The main cable goes on top of that. Tighten it down with the two nuts. I'll let you stuff get in the way. So you want to adjust the length of the suspender. If you loosen those nuts, you can pull this, the white line, the suspender up or down. You can also, and then you tighten it down to secure it. Now getting all six suspenders lined up and getting the deck level takes at least two people and takes a while. As soon as you 
increase, uh, shorten one, something else is going to change. Uh, with the J bolts, the, you also have a way of, let's say I want to make this, this line shorter. I could either loosen the two nuts and pull on the suspender. You You see, I can pull on the suspender to make it shorter, or there's a, remember there's a nut and a washer underneath. If I bring the, the nut up, that's also going to have the same result. It's hard to see, but it makes a difference. That's why I get a, uh, it's called a J-bolt quarter by four. Quarter inch diameter, four inch long. That means you got plenty of room to adjust the, uh, the length of the suspender. Okay, so now if we had a if we had, now I turn this chair around so it's not going to tip over. I didn't turn this one around. So what I'm going to do is yeah, stay on that, that one there. Bricks are about 50 cents a piece. They weigh about 4.7 pounds. This will hopefully prevent this chair from tipping over. Because now I'm going to put a live load. Now the, the previous video you saw the other suspension bridge model was much bigger. It had eight suspenders instead of six. I've used that in the past with lots of uh, classes and we put 100 pounds of live load on the deck. Now to do that we needed a lot of anchorage and in one of those classes the anchorage was a piece of plywood like I showed you there and one of the kids put a chair on it and sat on it. So we had 150 pounds of dead load on the anchorage. We don't have that here. So I'm not sure what's going to happen. Oop. Okay, go over there, George. Just with one brick, it's sliding. And the deck is going down. So we need a lot more weight on the anchorage. Or if we had, now you see that yellow cabinet over there? Ideally, I would attach the main cable somehow to the cabinet because the cabinet weighs a couple hundred pounds. Don't have that. So if you've got a, a table, you could attach the lines to the bottom of the legs of the table and have uh, your brother or sister sit on top of the table to make it work. Don't have that today, so this is all we got. And that's it for now. Okay.